What a World Bank report says remittances to Sub-Saharan Africa are expected to keep rising through 2019. But the cost of sending money to Sub-Saharan Africa also continues to be far higher than any other region in the world. What should be done to improve the processing of remittances to make them better and cheaper? To answer that and more, Leon Isaac, CEO of Developing Markets Associates and spokesman for the Financial Sector Development Programme, uh, Africa joins me live via Skype from Provence, France. Good evening, Mr. Isaac. Good evening, Vincent. Okay, now tell us, first, we know this is like there's a major upsurge around this time uh, of remittances. Uh, how, as we mentioned, how do you make this become a better process and make it easier and cheaper for people uh, to receive money and to send money? Uh, well, it's a good question, and it would normally require a long answer, but to keep it short, uh, I think a number of different factors, a lot of them driven around the implementation of technology um, so that we get away from this continual use of people using cash to send money and having to collect money in cash. Um, and a lot of the way we can do that is to improve the environments in the receiving countries in Africa so we can actually get money digitally into people's wallets and bank accounts rather than them having to travel from remote areas and spend a long time and a lot of money to collect uh, their funds. But isn't it because, uh, essentially because most people don't have bank accounts that uh, the mobile technology has become of great use for this purpose? Uh, that's exactly right. So, And I think the encouraging thing for Africa is that, of course, it's leading the way with mobile technology and mobile payments. And most of the best examples are already in the continent. What we have to do is actually encourage people in the UK, for instance, to send their money digitally rather than still using cash and rather than using agents to do it online. Uh, it will make it much simpler, cheaper and more efficient for everybody. Now, some have said also that uh, there is a lot of focus on migrants abroad, like, for example, those in UK or in the United States sending money. But we know that there's so many Africans who travel uh, and live in other African countries, yet sending money even across the border becomes extremely expensive. What do you do about that? Yeah, that's actually a, a bigger problem. You're right. I think two thirds of the money circulating into um, Africa is actually coming from somewhere else in the continent. Uh, there's a lot of things that need to happen. Um, uh, two main things. One is to improve, improve the infrastructure, so the actual technical ability to move money uh, across borders. Uh, but probably more importantly is to improve the regulations within the African countries. We still have far too many countries where there are exchange controls or restrictions on who can actually send money. And so it's really limited to businesses and people with bank accounts. Mm -hmm. And as you said earlier, you know, that over half the people in Africa do not have an account to be able to use. Yes. So we need to address those two things primarily anyway. In a few seconds, as a spokesperson of the FSD Africa, do you see this as a conversation among governments? Or do you engage governments? Are they conscious of all these issues? Yeah, FSD Africa uh, spends a lot of its time trying to engage uh, with the regulators and governments uh, and to increase capacity, know-how, uh, to educate them, to provide more knowledge, and really to make sure that the different regulators can learn from each other and governments can see the benefit of working together to help people Thank you. Uh, and African citizens move their money cross borders. Appreciate it very much, Mr. Isaacs. We do appreciate your insights. And now that Leon Isaacs is CEO of Developing uh, Market Associates and spokesperson for the Financial Sector Development Program, FSD Africa.